Celebrating in new clothes after a long month of spiritual retreat. The easing of COVID restrictions this year, meaning family can come together. A joyous occasion following 30 days of fasting, sacrifice and reflection. It's a great gathering, you know, as you can see, all my, my relatives, my cousins, my nieces, my nephews, we get together and have an amazing morning and just share some laughs and uh, stories, some stories of Ramadan. And just, just a wonderful feeling. It's an early start for such an important day. At one of Sydney's biggest mosques, prayers. Members of the Lebanese community here using today to outline their hopes for the year ahead. Our community expects to be treated fairly. We expect genuine engagement. We expect our representatives to deliver on their promises. They're a jigsaw of cultural backgrounds united in their faith and the thousands of people here have wrapped up their morning prayer and are beginning their Eid celebrations. Oh, today we're going to celebrate, we're going to go to Luna Park, you know, with the family, enjoy, maybe we're going to go to movie later, everything. So we are very, very happy today. Thanks. But for Abdul Karim, an Afghan evacuee who arrived in Australia after the Taliban takeover last year, today was lonely. Um, for everyone, it was little hard that they're celebrating Eid alone. He, like other Afghan refugees, are conscious that their families, still stuck in Afghanistan, don't have food to celebrate the day. With the UN reporting, 90% of the population there are facing a food shortage. They don't have anything for to eat because there is nothing. Diana Damjanovic, SBS World News.